attackers have never had it so easy. They figured out how to rip you off in public out of thin air. Tonight, consumer investigator Wayne Haverly uncovers what these cyber criminals don't want you to know. Well, Christy, hackers want to keep these secrets to themselves. If you don't know what they're doing, it's impossible to protect yourself. We're going to change that right now. Take a laptop computer into nearly any Northwest coffee shop and you can surf the net in seconds. It's incredibly convenient. Um, you know, wherever you're at, usually um, you can hop onto the internet and check your email. Wi-Fi access points, or hotspots, are popping up everywhere. All kinds of businesses are putting them in because they attract customers who like to stay connected. But there's a huge risk that most people don't know about. Yeah, I can see everything you're, you're doing on your internet connection. This former hacker is now a consultant who protects people from cyber criminals. The owner of this coffee shop agreed to let Brett Hiley show us how easy it is to spy on people using wireless connections. Literally, you can see what I'm seeing within seconds. Right, right. So I can see that you're at deal time uh, right now, uh, shopping.com. Uh, Schwab, Schwab.com. He can even see my email password. I can possibly assume that that password is also like your online banker password. But these hackers can do a lot more than just snoop on you when you're surfing on a public hotspot. They've actually figured out how to clone your computer and basically assume your online identity. Here's their new trick. When you connect to a public hotspot, the wireless router recognizes you by a unique ID number in your computer. When a hacker connects to the router, they can see your computer's ID number. In fact, in seconds, they can actually reprogram their own computer with your number. That's all it takes. You've been cloned. And, it only uh, took Hiley a few seconds to clone my computer. That. It thinks that I am that user, and a wireless network can't differentiate between two wireless computers. The same thing can happen on your Wi-Fi connection at home. Just ask Jeff Slim. And they were selling, like, thousands of dollars of items on my account. Someone recently hacked into his laptop through his wireless router. They took over his email and eBay account. Apparently, they were ripping off people all over the world using Jeff's good name. Like I was registered in France. That's where my address was, and all my uh, I was like all my settings were done in French. And Once he spotted the fraud, it was a real hassle to clear things up. I don't see how they could get caught. Thanks to wireless, hackers can now attack you from anywhere. They might be in a car outside, or perhaps they're sitting right next to you in a coffee shop. For instance, at this angle right here, I have five access points to choose from. With powerful receivers, they can even tap into your wireless signal from several miles away. I'm sure we could pick up several businesses in any of those towers, those antennas on uh, Queen Anne and Capitol Hill. Going wireless can be risky. And hackers love the fact that most people have no idea what's going on. I don't think the danger is, is, is that great. Do you ever think about the fact that someone could be watching what you're doing? No. <laughs> and I should, but I actually, I really don't. Yeah, you really should. To give yourself some protection, enable what's called a firewall on your computer. Most people never turn it on. Also create passwords that are difficult to crack. Combining letters, numbers, and symbols like question marks and explanation points will give you the best protection. And finally, don't use your email password for other accounts. You see, email accounts like Hotmail and Yahoo, they're not encrypted. And that means the cyberpunks don't have to decode your password. They can see it instantly. Christy? Thanks, Wayne. For more information on how to protect yourself while using Wi-Fi, just go to our website, CairoTV.com.